trying to get under the skin of Jamel Artis, and that's one of the things that Florida State is going to try to do to turn over the Panthers early in this game. Ball control has been an issue for Pitt all season, whether they're pressured or not. Some sloppy turnovers. Able to get in inside to Artis, who fires into the corner. They've been shooting the ball well lately, and they start off with a triple from Sheldon Jeter. Would you count that as a transition bucket? I mean, Pitt really never got time to set up. It wasn't necessarily a fast break. No, I wouldn't call that a transition bucket. Also, that's a great play by Artis, but not the level of defense that Leonard Hamilton has been used to watching his team play this year. Michael Young stands 6'9", 235. Ojo listed 7'1", 304. If that's something when you say someone is 6'9", is much smaller. Right. Jamel Artis getting in on the fun. That's his second three. But Michael Young has been locked in. He hasn't been scoring, of course, the way that he's been doing all year, but yet he's been locked into the defensive game plan. Young gives it up. Sheldon Jeter. Wow! Sheldon Jeter for three. He's having a monster game. They get the same contribution off the bench that they got in the first half, and the answer is yes. But you're talking about inexperienced players that are going to have to come in and play at crunch time in this game. Whoa, Cameron Johnson! The lead is 10. Oh, big time pressure from Florida State. Jeter, you betcha! Of all the anomalies today, Pitt taking care of the basketball, Dwayne Bacon not scoring, perhaps the biggest has been Pitt's defensive performance. There's Jeter, 27 points for Sheldon Jeter. Picking up those 50-50 balls and, of course, handling the ball extremely well on the offensive end of the floor. I think Kevin Stallings nailed it after the Notre Dame game. Oh, my. A runner for Jeter, 29 now. Xavier Rantan Mays off the mark. Kevin Stallings after the Notre Dame loss says we don't do well when we face adverse situations. They really didn't face one of those today. They got up to a great start. Everything went their way despite one big Florida State run. And the Panthers are going to find their second top 25 win of the year.